that car. It's it's a game that exists. You know. Now I already talked about this game in the last video I made, but I didn't talk much about it. So without further ado, here we go! Story. There is no story. The controls. Not the best. You can't reverse. Instead, they made down on the D-pad the crouch button. Whoever came up with these controls should be fired. The characters. You got Sanic, Super Sanic, Miles, Knock Knock his Knuckles, Rosie the Rascal, Baldy McNose Hair, Mr. Sonic, Mr. Knuckles, Egg Robo, and everyone's favorite, Tails Doll. I feel like Tails Doll is just misunderstood. Sure, he has those creepy bug eyes, but he's a doll. He's kind of adorable. Don't call me adorable. I'm not adorable. Yes, you are. The gameplay. A good experience to some. There's not much content due to the limitations of the original, but there's a grand, I mean, single race mode, a time attack mode, a balloon mode, a tag mode, and a two-player mode. The music. The best part of the game. From the title screen to the credits, this game has an amazing soundtrack. What I don't understand is, why give the option to remove the lyrics? Sure, the songs are good without lyrics, but they are even better with lyrics. Uh, take me back in time, do another one. My favorite is Diamond in the Sky. Because it just feels so Rainbow Road. You're the one that makes me feel so high. Just the in the sky. I never want to hear you say goodbye. In conclusion, this game is a good experience with its catchy music and some familiar faces but not a critically good game with all of its issues. It doesn't have much content either, but it's still fun. And besides, it started Sonic's 3D era. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye-bye!